Well, Monty, I always think Gardener's World Live has a whole selection of plant combinations and planting ideas that are really achievable. You can really take them home, try them out in your own garden. And here we are on the Best in Show Garden. What's caught your eye in the planting? Well, I think it's, it's the way the planting has been done as much as any particular plant, because this garden is clearly, it, it, it's a modern urban garden. Um, and it's designed as a place to live, which of course is, is, is very much in tune with the times. People over the last year or so have been eating in their gardens more, they've been sitting there, you know, there's a fire pit, there are seats, there's a place to, to stand and no doubt to cook on and, and, and drink and live. And yet, and this is the big thing that, that I think is changing, the planting is very soft and informal. You know, the, this woodland feel, okay, you and I know that you'd never see a woodland like this. No, but it's evoking the woodland, isn't exactly. it? It's got all that softness that you yeah. would normally see. And also gardens are artificial. Gardens are not woodland. Woodland is woodland. Uh, and a garden uh, takes the feel and the idea and a few key plants that can do that. And obviously the thing about woodland is that to some extent it's shaped. To a great degree, you, know, you have open glades, uh, you have the edge of woodland, you have the deep, dark heart of woodland. So you've got a range of plants mm that will thrive in various degrees of shade. And actually, most back gardens are a bit shady. Exactly, I yeah. think this is one of the smart things about this yeah. garden, is it's got a very contemporary gloss to it, but actually it's very traditional at its heart, and it definitely recognizes the fact that city, city spaces, city gardens are generally overlooked and overshadowed. Yeah, they are. And I, and I think, for instance, one of the things that I particularly notice and like about the planting which actually might surprise people, is actually the use of ferns, which, you know, it's not the bright colour, it's not the, because colour comes and goes, and it's, it's very nice, we can talk about that, but, but there are a lot of ferns used because ferns will thrive in shade. They'll thrive, many th ferns, and the ferns and thrive are not two things you can say easily, many ferns will thrive um, in very dry conditions. They don't have to be damp. Uh, you know, dry opteris will, will grow practically anywhere. They look great. They're very easy to look after, you just, you know, and so on and so forth. You've got lots of things that create a green, soft, slightly woodlandy feel. Very tough, robust, easy plant. I think ferns are a really coming plant group because actually they've not been super fashionable, no. but actually you can have them for, as you say, dry, for wet, for every condition, and they do actually thrive as in you shade. Know, I, I, grow more and more ferns. Oh, I know. Well, <laughs> I get. love them. Who are you to? Who are you to? Laugh in the face of fashion. I know but, that you're but, plants. But, but, but ferns you use a lot and I think yeah. that they're increasingly going into I'm, small gardens. Well, I think that's the thing. I mean, I, ten years ago we would not have seen this. We no. absolutely would not have seen this. We would have seen yeah, probably some clip box balls. Yeah. We would have seen much uh, easier planting. This is quite demanding. You know, to keep this looking good takes a level of horticulture. And, and what I think the pandemic has taught me, engagement with your garden yeah. is rewarding. So a little bit of looking after, a little bit of weeding, a little bit of vitamin is rewarding. Yeah, I mean, the process of gardening is actually what people have been finding super enjoyable, really part of their sort of day-to-day -day lives. Gardens are becoming so much more of how we live every day. So I think being outside, a little bit of deadheading, let's face it, glass of wine in one hand maybe, and, you know, just seeing what's happening around the garden. And I think that's where those plants are really sort of coming into people's lives. And I think people are more interested in gardening more and looking less. It's doing lots of things that, that make living pleasurable and easy. And at the same time, horticulturally, actually breaking new ground. This is, this is not the kind of planting that we would have seen in this kind of garden four or five years ago. This I is definitely just, part of a trend. It just shows you, show gardens have really come on and at a show like this, you'll come away with lots of ideas. Yeah, and sure. I think this is a big one. Yeah.